this any better? Check one, two, check one, two. How's the audio? Can anybody, can, can you hear me? Is it, is it okay? Yeah, better? Is this better or is it worse or is it kind of the same? It's better? Not so better. <laughs> um, I guess. I put it on so, all right. I don't know. I don't I mean, it's not like this, huh? Check one, two, check one, two. Yeah. Yeah. Just some crap. Can you guys do it okay? No. Sorry. Yay. Hello, hello. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Um, yeah, sorry. I was a little late. I, it took me a second to try and figure out how to do this again. I was being silly. I, I kept pushing my story thinking I was going to add it, but... Um, Turns out it was just a little camera icon up in the corner, and that was it. So, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on this late night edition or early afternoon uh, edition, depending on where what part of the world you're from. Of um, me saying thank you to everybody. Um, recently broke thirty thousand, and uh, thank you so much for everyone's love and support. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I said thank you about 12 hours ago to everyone, but uh, I, wa I wanted to make sure I said to everyone because um, I know a lot of you were still asleep or going to sleep, so um, I, didn't want to, I, wanted, I didn't want you to miss it. I don't want you to feel like uh, you guys left out because uh, you're on the wrong side or the other side. Sorry, not wrong side, but on the other side of the country when I did this, so. Or the country, the planet. Sorry, it's late over here, so my brain's kind of not working. But uh, I'm going again, off the, off the cuff, going full improv. Nothing written here, no scripted uh, uh, stuff. So, um, hello to everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, so, um, what am I doing up? Well. I'm up because of you guys. Um, I'm not to say thank you. Hello from uh, Los Angeles to every country that's out there. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of uh, at a loss for words. But um, yeah, I love you, Korea. I love you, Italy. I love you, France. I love you, um, <laughs> the UK. Um... I love you, Portugal. I love everybody. I love um, Germany. I love... Uh, okay, so it's 5 p.m. in Korea, which is perfect, because I wanted to say... Um, 
my deepest heartfelt thank you from all of my fans in Seoul. Um, no, no, to all my fans in Seoul, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's late again. Um, and seriously, to, to every single country. Um, I said before, and I'll say it again, I, I'm completely surprised and amazed by um, the, the level of response that I've gotten for, um, well, gosh, a lot of the roles, but this one in particular is Shadowhunters. Um, you guys are amazing. This fan base. Um, all I can say is thank you. Thank you for accepting me and allowing me to be a part of this beautiful story that you guys continue to hold dear in your hearts daily, hourly. Because um, I know I think about you guys all the time. I'm constantly amazed and inspired by all of your art and um, your fan fiction and uh, your poetry and your inspiring words to each other and to... Um, and to me, really, uh, I wasn't expecting such an outpouring of love and support and gifts and adoration and just, um, just overwhelming love, really. I've, um, I haven't felt that kind of love before in a long time. And I just want to say that I feel it from you guys a lot. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you for um, liking my voice. Um, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll read whatever you guys want me to read. But um, <laughs> seriously, I'm just happy you guys like me. <laughs> Hello, Russia. Hello, Italy. Hello, everybody. Gosh, seriously, what? <laughs> well, hello to the, your kindergarten class. I can't believe you're watching me with your kindergarten class, but thank you. Thank you so much. Um, hello, Australia. Hello, Russia. <laughs> um, I want to get back to Australia and play a proper didgeridoo because uh, the only one I have is made of PVC. And it sounds good, but it just doesn't quite have the same ring and tone to it. Uh, and I do love you, New Zealand, as well. And Estonia. Um, I would love to come to Paris. But, um, <laughs> uh, seriously, I would love to come to Europe and then just um, hop around to every single expo, convention, meet and greet, and just meet all of you lovely people. How was it working with Harry? Harry's awesome. He really is. He's one of the nicest, awesomest, most giving, kindest people I've ever met. And uh, yeah, he is really, really cool. I'm so glad that we got to work together and he got to play my son and I got to play his dad. Uh, silly and crazy world that this could be. Um, Poland, I love you. Hello, Sweden. Hello, Philippines. I've been to Manila. You guys are awesome. Um, hello, Japan. I love you, Japan. Uh, how, what was it like working with the cast of Shadowhunters? Same thing. They're all beautiful and wonderful people. Um, I wish I could work with them more. I wish you could be doing a lot more fun and adventures and creating a lot more exciting episodes for you guys to watch. But, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows what the future holds, right? Um, let me see. Seriously. I'll come to Germany and France all day long. <laughs> uh... And Russia. One day I'll come to Russia and 
enjoy some seriously beautiful people. When did I go to Manila? Um, I went to Manila in 2012, right around that time. Shot a TV show in Singapore called Point of Entry. And uh, while we were there um, shooting that show, I got to spend two weeks in Manila and shot uh, a portion of a few episodes there. So, yeah, two weeks in Manila, somewhere between somewhere between uh, November and December. So it was a bit warm, not as hot as it could be, but yeah, it was still pretty hot. But I loved it. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. People are wonderful and beautiful and giving and kind and so happy. And, um, yeah, I really loved it. It's such a beautiful country. Um, Italy. Uh, I've never been to Italy. I would love to be in Italy. Um, but seriously, just call me and let me know. Um, yeah, just, I love you all, seriously, hi everybody, um, yeah, I know, seriously, 2012, I can't believe it, it's been that long, never been to Austria, always wanted to go, um, well, Charlie, I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? Hope you're feeling better and uh, hanging in there just like the rest of us. Don't forget, we're all in this together, guys. If anybody's feeling kind of down and going through your own little thing, just, just remember we're all going through it too. So if you feel alone, don't, don't be... I know I was feeling alone because uh, I kind of just closed myself off a little bit you know, and turned into a little hermit. But, uh, yeah, it definitely helped to stick my head out of the cave for a while and uh, see what's going on in the world. Say hi to people. Check in on them. Let them check in on you because um, they love you. Um I hope to see all of you very soon, in person. I'm a big hugger. <laughs> so, don't be surprised if I actually hug you back. Because um, I'm sure it's going to feel really good when we can start hugging people again and it, and it feels okay to just like, smile at somebody and just reach out and hug them again. You know, it feels kind of weird now. It doesn't quite feel normal to see that in movies <laughs> and TV shows even. Like, I know we're all kind of pretty conditioned to be a whole different way of living now, but I still love and I still hug and I still want to uh, interact with people and let them know I care. Don't be surprised if I ever let go either. Well, one day I will make it to Germany. I think it'll be a little sooner than than uh, than you think. So cross your fingers. I'd love to be there soon. Thank you so much for all your love. Um, seriously. I wish I could have seen you all this year. Um, one of these wonderful conventions. But we're just going to have to wait. And it's going to be okay. In the meantime, I will be thinking of you. And sending you love from my little apartment. <laughs> or my little, my little part in the world. Para, what are you doing? You guys want to say hi to Para? Para, come here. 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 Come here.
to the Czech Republic. Yes, I have. I've been to Prague. Come here. Hey, where are you going? You just you were just coming here. Now you're going over there. Oh, forget it. Hey, come here. Say hi. And I want to say hi to you. Oh yeah, come here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stinker, and I love her. Oh, yeah. Are you happy? Hmm? Are you happy, dog? Sorry, I took you off the bed. It's okay. Big yawn. It's a big yawn. Oh. <sighs> She's my little baby. Oh, it's her baby. Okay, I'm gonna let you go now. Go, go play. And she's off. And laying on my pillow. Um. You know, if you guys have a chance out there, um, I know you guys have been seeing it in the news and stuff like that, uh, how all the pounds are, are uh, getting emptied, and I think a lot of them are offering, I think, what, free adoptions and stuff like that. If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling like you could use some companionship and you can't seem to get some human type, go get yourself a dog and a cat. Some beautiful little animal out there that um, needs some loving too right now. Um, I know all my dogs are, are rescues and adopted pets that I've picked up from friends and um, other people. So um, just because a dog's old doesn't mean it doesn't need love too. Um, Pear is ten years old, and. She's just the sweetest thing in the world, and I uh, can't imagine my life without her. So, you just might find a little buddy out there who you feel the same way about. So, go, go, go take a visit to your local pound and see if you can't find a new friend. Um, Para is a Chihuahua. I don't know what she's mixed with, but. Not your average chihuahua. Normally they're a little smaller. So she's a little little bigger. Um, I have no idea what she is. She looks like she's mixed with some kind of like <laughs> Doberman Pinscher or something like that. But I know she's not. She just she just looks like she has the same color and marking. Um Hello Netherlands. Hello Mara. Thank you for joining today. You guys make me feel so special and awesome. So, um, I just wanted to share that and let you know that I love you. I think you guys are great. Every single one of you. Um, go spread some love in the world. Yeah. Um, Really sad that all the conventions got canceled, honestly. Really sad a lot of everything got canceled. But, uh, we didn't get canceled. We're still here. So, that's the most important part. We're all still here. We not, might not be here in the same capacity that we'd like to be. Or, the world isn't exactly the way that we thought it would be. Uh, but uh, it's okay. Because we're still here. 
that just means we get another chance to uh, do it again, try it a different way. So, if you're frustrated or sad or angry at the way the world is or how your situation is right now, don't get down. Just know that it'll change. This too shall pass. Um, you're absolutely right, sad bish, <laughs> I think that's how you say it. We can take this time right now to work on ourselves, you know, um, look within. I know that uh, in this busy hustle and the bustle of the world, um, sometimes we don't give ourselves time for ourselves to pause and reflect and all the things that we've done and accomplished in this world because we're so busy moving forward that um, no one wants to look back. Um, I will absolutely consider uh, Dark Shade Con in Singapore next year if, uh, if you invite me. Again, if anyone ever wonders uh, if I'd ever go to a convention, um, the answer is yes. Just you have to invite me, um, and then I'll go. I'll you know my my people and their people will talk, and then we'll get it all working out. But it's just that easy. Um, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for um, staying up with me and listening to me. Just. Bleh, bleh, bleh. But, um, no, seriously, I should probably shut up now, but, um, <laughs> uh, I, I should probably think what I'm going to say before I, I do one of these things next time, because, seriously, it's just, um, I don't know, I guess I just wanted to, like, not feel so alone right now, um, I know you guys are all feeling alone too, so, um, know that I'm here with you, it's an amazing thing, um, if you think you're alone, then you are alone, <laughs> it's an amazing thing. Um, but if you think or allow yourself to feel and open yourself up to the possibility of other people around you or actually just open your eyes and look around, um, you'll find a surprising amount of people who actually do care about you and who do think about you constantly. You just don't know it. You just don't know it. You don't feel it because... Um, you're kind of caught up in your own world, you know? But if you just give yourself those, those moments to reflect and, um, even, even just kind of pause in the darkness, you know? Even if it's dark and it's scary. I'm just babbling, but I'm just saying that I've gotten to some pretty dark places recently, and uh, I didn't think anything was going to get better, but, um, you know, a couple days later, it did. <laughs> a couple days later, um, you know, some of the best friends all of a sudden just reach out and, and um, check up on you and make sure you're okay, and, and, you know, I'm lucky to have friends like that, I'm lucky to have people like that in my life, so. Um, all I'm saying is, even if you don't feel like you have someone in your life that cares for you or loves you, um, or you don't feel so loved right now, especially, um, don't, don't 
don't feel that way. There's billions of people around on the planet right now. They're all desperately wanting to feel love and to be happy and to be with their friends and to get on with their lives again. So you're not the only one. You're not the only one right now feeling this. So don't give up, please. Don't give up because I want to see you again. I want to see you all again very soon. So um, if I if I don't give up, then you don't give up, all right? Thank you for all the love. You know, like I said, I, I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff. There are just so many buttons and things going on here. What are all these little icons on the bottom? Ooh, what's with that? What's that? Is that questions? Okay, so there's questions. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> um, let me see. What is my post like on the project? Um, Leanne from Scotland. Hello, Scotland. Um, my post lockdown project. Uh, right now, I'm just not doing much anything. Actually, um, online rent fair where um, some of some of our um, residents of the fair uh, will teach people in little online classes a little bit about um, medieval life peasant life um, because I do um, Knights Templar um, I think I'll be doing little classes on uh, chivalry and uh, how to be chivalrous in the modern world, so that should be fun, and I'll be dressed up in my gear while I do it too, so um, just a little something to keep me busy and um, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff um, absolutely without a doubt like I said, call me up, I'll be there Can I imagine a crossover with Lucifer and Shadowhunter? <laughs> that would be funny. That would be hilarious. Because, uh, yeah, as you, as you, as you, some of you might know, I've already uh, done an episode of Lucifer where I play a um, Las Vegas police detective and um, I actually got to uh, have a scene face to face with the man himself. So that was really neat. And if we do the crossover, I think that'd just be hilarious. I'm not going to do it. But favorite TV shows that I like to watch? Um, honestly, uh, I'm a big fan of Rick and Morty. They, they crack me up. It's so it's super intelligent and funny and dark and just, I don't know. My brain goes to, to weird places sometimes and that show satisfies all my urges of weirdness. And, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's a show I like to watch. Um, hi, Saudi Arabia. Hi, everybody. Hello, Australia. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess next time if you guys want, <laughs> I can, um, or you can suggest um, me reading um, something like a book or an article or even the, the label of the shampoo bottle. I mean, I'll, I'll read whatever you guys want me to read. Um,
you know what? Um, I dream of the night just pulling me out of the window as well. I think that was a was quite a fair shake that was made of the guy. I was just saying. Don't call me wrong, but and thank you for saying hi from work. And thank you for hoping that I stay safe. Mom car stairs. Hi, sad bitch again. <laughs> uh, seriously, I miss Shadowhunters. I think you guys are awesome. Um, I, I just keep saying it over and over again. Shadowhunters is awesome. You guys are awesome. Um, but yeah. Wish I could have been um, those movies for you guys for much longer. Thank you so much. Seriously. Um, I really should have time in quarantine. Uh, well, I read, I go online, watch cat videos, uh, cook, and, uh, do some gardening. Just kind of, I just kind of take it as it comes, you know. Um, kind of follow the philosophy. Obviously, um, if you're if you're tired, sleep. If you're hungry, eat. Doesn't really matter what time it is, as long as yeah. it's you know if that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Um, What was I going to say? Uh, sorry, I'm trying to read these. I'm trying to read the like, comments right now. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for saying hi to sweet voice. Buenas noches, Argentina. Saludos to you. Hello, Bulgaria. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, next time I'll, I'll rehearse my, my song in Spanish and then I'll sing it for you. So I'll um, actually, two. Only, there's, there's two I know in Spanish. Uh, well, yeah, one of them one of them is, um, is called Silver. Yes, no. Um, but yeah, that one, that one's a good one. That was an old, old classic romantic song. Um, and then another one is from the movie Mambo Kings. Um, and it's called La Villa Maria de Mi Amor. A beautiful movie of my soul. And that is sang in Cuban. You know, very similar. But um, it's a little different. Uh, well, you know what? where you feel like um, the, the, the outside world is a little too much. Um, and we're all kind of quiet.
Um, but my advice would be to just take a deep breath and know that it's going to be okay. Because, again, we, we create our own worst fears sometimes with our own head because we're so intense and we're so, um, we have so many emotions, we have so much feeling and thought expressions we need to get out of that if we can and we're not allowed to or feel like we're stuck. Just don't show it. I get quite um, people respond and react in different ways, but just know that everyone is feeling anxiety all the time, and that if you ever, if it ever takes you over, just take a deep breath, just close your eyes, and uh, just reconnect. Reconnect with the earth. Reconnect with everyone. Um, to move around so fast. You stop and think for one second. Um, that's going to be okay. Then it'll be okay. And then it's also positive. And then it'll get better and better. Every time. So don't stop. Don't let anxiety stop you from getting out there and doing what you really want to do. Because if, believe it or not, I uh, am very shy in public. I was a very, very shy child um, growing up. I um, didn't know how to conversate in social environments. I didn't know how to start a conversation. I sure as hell didn't know how to start a conversation with a with a, a girl <laughs> that I that I found attractive. Um, I was about to speak to somebody for um, so I can get better <laughs> social environments. Um, you guys can. I'm sure you guys are killing it right now way better than I am. Um, sometimes I just smile and say nothing because I'm too shy and I don't know what to say. Uh, and I'm just lucky that um, people look at me and go, oh, look at him, he's just standing there smiling. What a, what a lovely man. <laughs> uh, I could be freaking out, I could be standing there, like sweating and eyes bulging in my head, but I'll do my best not to be shy. I'll do my best to always um, overcome my shyness to, to reach out and help somebody and to say hello, even though when I don't um, feel quite like saying hello. <laughs> sometimes, um, sometimes, I mean, a lot of times I overcome my own insecurities and my own um, shyness and things like that uh, because I see someone else that needs... Um, help or support or love or feel like they're, they're having a hard time or something like that. And everything, everything that I'm doing and all my goals go away in that moment. And um, the most important thing is to make sure that that person that I'm talking to is going to be good. And uh, if I can help them make their business a little better or maybe show them a little bit more insight on something, and I've almost been all the time to do it, because honestly, if if you're on the edge of a precipice, and all it takes is a kind word to talk you down, then I would, I'll spend all day talking until my voice is gone, because um, we all, we all deserve to feel love, 
and we all deserve to feel included and um, respected and heard, right? It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing to want. It's not so crazy, right? Just simple, right? Simple human. <laughs> just, just the simplest things in the world, and they seem to be the hardest things in the world to do. Um, if I could hug you all, I would hug you all right now. If they had virtual hugs where you could, like, I don't know. <laughs> You have to make, you have to make, like, like arms <laughs> that you walk into, like, a little, a little arm booth, and then you just stand there, and, um, you put your, put your phone <laughs> in the area where the, where the head goes, and then, uh, you know, arms come around and hug you. Um, <laughs> I think that's what it's going to come to. getting better and you can hear me. Um, um, let me see. Ooh, one more question. It's my favorite band. Um, gosh. It's a between Dolan and Dolan. It's a old school rocker. You know, now that you guys keep, keep mentioning it and do this, I will uh, definitely plan on doing it. Why not? <laughs> if I can make you laugh by sitting at home reading books and saying some stuff, I do it all day. Um. Sorry, the, the audio is going out. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Is it me? Um, can, is, is everyone not hearing me well? Or is it just like, or is it like totally like super? Because I, I don't know. Um, sorry. Connection's bad. Bad connection. Bad. Bad connection. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, should I, like, should I try it again? Should I, like, reload this thing? Do you know that? Because, um, it's a crappy connection. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, this sucks. I hope it's not the headset. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, let me try this again. I don't know. Let me uh, let me try and load it up again, and let me know if if uh, you get better. Um, all right. I'll, I'll I'll shut this down and do it again. And if it isn't, it's crap. And, um, try it again. Okay. Try it again. Alright. I'm just Hello. 
Hello, hello, hello. Is this better? Can you hear me? Is this any better? Is it still bad? Um, hi, everybody. Yay, everybody back. Is it better? Can you hear me? Check one, two, three, four. Check one, two, three, four. Um, Simulance, simulance. Yay! So the sounds good. Thank goodness. Okay. Um. Come on back, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I don't know how far that thing went before it just started to go bad. Hi, everybody. Hi, a it art. Hi, Sula. Julie. Yeah, I'm glad you can hear me. Yay, J. Brown. Yay. How long should I make my bed? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it went crazy and bad and technology decides to go really hor- But Uh. No. Wrong. More. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be horrible if I just started doing that again? Um. Sorry, like I'm fighting uh, a lot of humor and weird things right now. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, welcome back. I don't know what to say, because I already said a bunch of stuff earlier. But thank you, thank you, thank you uh, again for joining me and listening to me babble on um, little by little. Uh, hey! You guys want to hear me comb my hair? <laughs> I saw that. <clears throat> I saw that. Uh, was it the ASMR video online? And um, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Because I was having trouble uh, falling asleep one night. Actually, a couple nights in a row. Um, and so someone suggested um, watching some ASMR videos. So there I was. <laughs> watching. Um, people whispering and clicking and touching things and running their fingers across things and combing their hair. And, uh, I just thought it was hilarious. But, um, um, can you hear that? Is, it, is that ASMR right there? Imagine if I sat here for like a half hour. Although it does sound pretty cool. And to have the headset in and um, it starts tickling you after a while, like certain parts of your body inside I mean at least for me I was like it was it was kind of making me feel funny um, you know like when someone whispers in your ear and you kind of start getting a little tingle yeah I was getting the tingles so I hope I tingled you just now with that little comb the brush mm -hmm. I should totally do that I should totally go on ASMR there YouTube and just be like, hi everybody, welcome to my channel, can you hear me whisper? Thank you for joining me. Oh jeez, <laughs> uh, uh, I've been, no seriously, I, I've been, I've been watching too many of those. Because <laughs> I'm trying to think who would be the best one, like what, what is the ultimate ASMR video you know, that we've watched, it's like, I don't even know, a dozen or so of those like, things that just like go crazy. Yeah, 
do I really? I honestly don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm just sitting here in the end of the day. Um, I don't know. It's my thing. Again, is it, is it the connection went bad again? What did I do? Tell me, it's, tell me it's good again, or is it bad again? Freaking Wi-Fi! Oh man! Stupid Wi-Fi! Don't want to see. Is it because I moved? Uh, oh, man. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sorry, it's doing it again. Um, oh, no. What does it do? Is it still doing it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... I guess, I guess we'll, I guess we'll try it again, maybe, I don't know, let me try, it. let me try it one more time, let me try this one more time, and we'll do it again, it was happening before I moved, okay, dang it, alright, um, I don't know, alright, let me try this one more time, let me try this one more time, alright, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it. I'm gonna do it again. All right, I'll try something different. Okay, tell me if this is any better. No, is it getting better? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I was just about to push the button. All right, is it good now? Am I good now? Am I good now? Am I good now? Is it my headset? I don't. I can't tell. I can't read code yet. I wish I could. Because there's so much in Korea right now. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's good now. Okay, it's good now. Okay. Yes, thank you. <sighs> okay. I am going to move again. I swear. I'm just going to sit right here. I'm going to stay right here. Oh, okay. I'm good. Good. I'm glad you can hear me in Indonesia. Yeah, no. I did the Twitter live right after I did the other one. And then, oh, son of a... Is it bad again? Let me try something else again and uh, see what happens. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to try it again. I swear. I'm, all right. Okay. I'm going to try unplugging my headset. How's that? Did that help? Can you hear me? Start. All right, let me, let me let me try this again. I'm, I'm gonna go restart this one more time. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. We do this one more time. All right, we're gonna do this again.
Flame. All right, let me do this again. I'll do it one more time. 